Okay, in this video we're going to discuss how to properly clean your Springfield Armory XD9 semi-automatic pistol. This happens to be the 4-inch service model. The cleaning procedures used for this particular model will be the same as they would be for the 5-inch tactical and the 3-inch compact. As is the case anytime we handle a firearm, before we want to start working on it, we want to make sure that it is considered clear and safe. We've gone through proper clearing and safe procedures in earlier videos, and we're going to do the same here before we begin. We have the firearm, drop the magazine, put it aside, rack the slide open, visual inspection, physical inspection, drop the slide, point at the ground, and squeeze the trigger. Firearm is now considered clear and safe. All right. Now that we've done that, let's start talking about our video. There are a gazillion different lubricants and cleaners made available today on the market for firearms. The list is endless. Remington, uh, Break Free, F Frog Lube, Triflow, Slip 2000, Ballastol, M-Pro. I could keep going and I'd put you to sleep. Uh, they're all very, very good. I've tried a number of them and I keep coming back to Break Free CLP. Um, it's what the military uses, good enough for them, it's good enough for me. It's not to say that others aren't as good, this is just one that I keep coming back to, I'm familiar with using, and I happen to like it. I use both the aerosol and the drip type in different applications. Either one will work just fine, it just depends on what you choose to use. Different cleaning products or tools that you may decide to use, you may want to pick up a cleaning rod, they make a variety of different types, maybe some phosphor bronze or brass brushes. You'll have a brass, uh, what I call, uh, eyelet patch holder. This will go ahead and screw into the end of the cleaning rod, and you then feed the patch through it, kind of sort of like this. Now, this isn't the most organized in the world. There you go. Might want to get some of these patches. You can buy them pre-cut in packs of Lord knows how many at the store, or if you have an awesome wife like mine, she'll take my old T-shirts and cut them into the appropriate sizes that I need. Or there's a product here that's called a boar snake. I've taken the labeling out, so you may not be able to see exactly what the, uh, the graphics look like. But this is an interesting product. It is a piece of woven fabric that has a couple of these brass-type brushes woven into the fabric itself. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to demonstrate how this works later. I think for the most part, for simple basic cleaning, the boar snake works wonders and can save you some money and headache and etc etc down the road all right there's two ways that we can clean our firearm we can do either a field strip of the firearm like we had done in an earlier video or we can go ahead and leave the firearm uh, intact but simply rack the slide open and clean the barrel that way I'm going to demonstrate both methods first we'll go ahead and move forward with the basic disassembly or field stripping of the firearm which we covered in an earlier video we'll do that very quickly and then we'll clean from there so first off we're going to rack the slide open we're then going to take our slide release lever and turn it to the 12 o'clock position. Our slide catch lever will then bring down, guide the slide down, pull the trigger, and then take the slide assembly off the frame. We'll put the frame aside. We're not going to need it for now. We're going to go ahead and take off the uh, recoil spring captive guide rod assembly. We just depress the spring a little bit, lift up. It'll come right off. We'll put it aside. The barrel, as we discussed, kind of pull forward and then pull out. Now we have field stripped a firearm. Here's what I like to do when I begin cleaning via this method. I like to take some of my brake free and from time to time I'll just put a squirt directly on the slide itself or there's nothing wrong with putting a squirt on a rag, an old t-shirt, what have you, put a squirt on there and wipe the firearm down. Now you'll see inside the slide here, let me get my handy dandy pointer, aka paintbrush. See this little rail in here? See the rail on this side as well? You want to get in there and clean. I like to use a Q-tip. These are the wooden type Q-tips that only have the cotton swab on one end. Just what I prefer. You can use regular Q-tips. Believe me, the Q-tip police are not going to come arrest you if, they, if you're using their Q-tips on firearms instead of cleaning your ears. It's completely okay. What I like to do is go ahead and once I've gone ahead and given a squirt on here and wiped the firearm down, I'll get in there into that channel. You can see you got a little bit of dirt on there already. Into that channel, kind of wipe out what's inside. Do the same around here. There on the breech face, that's where the cartridge will be butted up against, and the firing pin will then strike the primer. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of, a lot of friction that goes on there. You'll want to clean that up as well. Another very valuable tool to use whenever cleaning a firearm is going to be either your handy-dandy nylon brush. Old toothbrushes work great for this. Or, and, and or, that's an overused lawyerism. 
uh, a brass or phosphor bronze type brush as well. This can get out your hard to clean uh, buildup and this can also be a bit more gentle on the farm as well. So these are all tools that you're going to want to have when cleaning. Now, if you decide to use the brush and rod method when cleaning the barrel, I would recommend putting a little squirt, give us a little shake, a little squirt of our brake fee directly into the barrel. That's all it takes. Take your brush, run it through the, uh, the barrel about, I like to do about five times. Four, five, that's been cleaned out. If you look really closely, usually I'll put on a white piece of uh, fabric. You can see some of the dirt that comes off of that. Now we need to clean it out. So we're going to go ahead and take our brush off of the cleaning rod. We're going to put on our, I call it the cleaning, wall, cleaning rod um, swab eyelet. It's the wrong name for it, but that's what I call it. Screw it on the end. Take our little patch, run it through the eyelet about halfway. And we're going to run it down through the barrel. Now you'll notice if you look closely, you can see... How the rod rotates as we push it through the barrel. Can you see that on the video? Just a very slow rotation as I put it through that way and then when I come back out it'll go the other direction. That's because this patch is following that spiral, that spiraling or rifling inside of the barrel. Just a little tidbit of information you can take home to your friends and say, hey look what I learned today. Run that in and out. See we've got a little bit of carbon build up in there. Run that through a handful of times. We're good and clean and dry. There's just a light film of Liverkin inside the barrel. I'll then also take that t-shirt and I'll wipe down the captive rig curl spring and guide rod assembly. Very little need to put much lubricant on this. I mean, it does need it, but once you put it on there, it tends to stay on for quite a while. I lubed this not that long ago. We're not going to change that. Our slide assembly here we want to go ahead and give a little wipe down too again we got a little splash of lubricant on there that's no problem I'll leave it on there again we haven't exactly done the thorough deep cleaning of this particular slide because I've already done that uh, last weekend when I was out at the range with a good friend of mine who might be watching this video um, in any event so that's cleaned up one thing you want to be very, very mindful of, there's many, as you'll notice in my videos, one thing is very important. This thing's important too. And another. This one is, when it comes to lubricant, less is more. Believe me. Just because you've wiped off all the lubricant doesn't mean that the item or the surface that you've put the lubricant on is now considered completely dry. This particular item, CLP, does have Teflon in it. So long after the lubricant actually dries, it does leave that thin, dry film of Teflon, which is a fantastic lubricant, which will help um, the slide operate properly on the frame and uh, avoid jams and all that sort of thing. So again, my point is, if you're concerned that you haven't put enough lubricant on, you're probably just fine. Last thing you want to do is put this thing away wet. All right, so now we've cleaned the barrel, we've cleaned the guide rod and recoil spring assembly, we've cleaned the slide. Now we want to go ahead and take one quick look at the frame. Hope this is coming out on the video. Right here is part of the feed ramp. This is the other part of the feed ramp. When put together, they fit kind of like that. So you can see they call it a feed ramp because the projectile will be fed up that ramp into the chamber of the barrel. With that, I always like to take a cloth with a little bit of lube on it and wipe down that part of the feed ramp. Just get that good and clean. Wipe down the rails. You'll see some dirt will be in there. This little notch here. Back in here, wipe that down. Wipe that down, this rail here. Very important to keep those clean. Again, I had lubed them earlier, so I'm not going to relude them again. The firearm has now been wiped down, properly cleaned, and it's ready to be disassembled. So we'll do that as we had learned in an earlier video. Grab our slide. We're going to take the barrel, push it in forward just a little bit. Pull it back until it clicks into place, like during the field strip. There we are. Our captive guide rod and spring assembly. Big spring forward, small spring back. Remember, put that in, push with our thumb. It's going to go into that notch. We're, go we're going to align these rails here with the notches on the back of the slide. We're going to put it back, and then we're going to lock the slide in its open position. 
There we are. The slide release lever we're going to put down into the 9 o'clock position. We're going to pull down the slide catch and guide the slide forward. Pull the trigger. We're done. We have now done a cleaning of our Springfield Army XD9 semi-automatic pistol. Now, that was the method we showed using the cleaning rod and the bristle and the little eyelet and the, the swab, etc., etc., etc. Here is a very quick and still yet effective way to clean this same firearm that takes a little bit less time, it's less hassle, and it's a bit cleaner. And it uses this product that I talked about earlier called the boar snake, which I think is really, really ingenious. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to rack the slide open, and that's all we're going to do. This little brass portion on the end of this cord is actually weighted. It's a little heavy. The idea is they want you to be able to drop it in the barrel, have it come out the other side, pull it through the chamber, and out of the firearm. And as you do that, the front part's going to clean away some of the carbon deposits that are there. These bristles are going to spin through and do exactly what this brush does and scrape away any of the carbon deposits or car, uh, copper fouling that might be in the barrel. The back end will then clean out the rest of whatever was left behind. And they recommend pulling this through about two or three times. Now, the way that Boar Snake advises to do it is to put this in through uh, the uh, ejection chamber, ejection port, rather, of the slide into the front of the chamber this way. I do it differently. I like to come through the grip, through the bottom, Got to kind of finagle it a little bit, but eventually you'll make it into the chamber itself. Just give it a little jiggle. Nothing wrong with a little jiggle, ladies, right? Oh, chauvinist pig, David. Uh, you can all get it in there. Come on. Now, there we go. We've gotten it in. Now, you can see how the... how I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, so the, it's come out this end. You can see how it's been fed in. In there, right? Here's why I like to feed it through the grip. Remember we talked about the feed ramp on the barrel and how we want to keep that clean so when the round gets stripped off the magazine, it can feed into that chamber with no obstruction? Well, if you use the bore snake the way that they instruct you, just going through the ejection port, it doesn't allow you to clean the feed ramp, which is right there. And here you can see as the cord comes up through the grip, it's already rubbing on the feed ramp. So when you do that and you pull this through, it's going to clean the whole thing in one shot and leave everything nice and clean. Uh, again, before using the boar snake, one quick squirt of your CLP in the barrel. Let it run down and soak in for just a moment or two. Run that boar snake through two or three times. Your barrel is completely clean. And let's say you didn't want to take the slide apart, but you still wanted to make sure you had lubricant on the slide. There's nothing preventing you from putting a little drip of our CLP. And this is where the liquid type comes in handy. A little drip of it on the back of the rail there and on the back of the rail there. And then go ahead and close up the firearm and then work the action. Work the action a number of times. That's going to help spread that lubricant around that rail on the slide. All right. Pull the trigger. We're good to go. So we have discussed a couple different methods in order to clean your Springfield Army XD9 9mm uh, service length pistol. Again, there is the traditional cleaning rod type or is the, the new fangle boar snake. These boar snakes you can get anywhere from, I've seen them from like $13 on up to $22, depending on how bad the store that you're going to wants to rip you off. Um, typically around 15 bucks is what I've been able to pick up these boar snakes for in the past. I think they're really neat. They are caliber specific. When you buy one, it'll have a tag on there that'll say what it fits. In this particular case, 9mm, which as we know is considered a 30 caliber round, which fits the 380s, 38s, 357s, 30 carbine, etc., etc., etc. Um, they do make two different lengths. One is pistol length, one is rifle length. The rifle length one, as you can imagine, is much longer. So you want to get the pistol length one if you're going to do the boar snake. Um, again, available at Mo Walmart has these, for crying out loud, as they also do carry CLP. So you can consider that a, a one-stop shop at Walmart if you decide to do that. You can go online to Midway USA, Brownells. They all sell those products as well. Don't forget some brushes. Definitely want to get a bronze brush. Nothing wrong with some old toothbrushes as well. That's going to make life easier. Get yourself some Q-tips. And I think for right now, we can ignore the cleaning rod and the um, bronze brushes. I think the boar snake is going to be a great way to go for cleaning. Down the road, we can worry about that and patches and all this other kind of stuff. In the meantime, that's a very, very simple way of going about cleaning your Springfield Army XD9 semi-automatic pistol. I hope you found this uh, video uh, educational. I'm, I always had a lot of fun giving it to you, and I'm sure we'll have more to talk about in the near future. In the meantime, 
good shooting and be well.